Hey everyone, welcome. Hope you're all, all your days going good. Oh. So, I finally got Two Point Campus to have a go at this. I've been wanting it for ages. I, I was going to get it at one point, but I put it off and I finally got it. And I want to play it because I get addicted to this game and I last on it for a long time. These type of, of game, I should say. Anyway, we're going to get straight on then. It's definitely got lots of cool little things in it. If it's like Two Point Hospital, you'll have lots of interesting things to see. So you got robotics. Cafeteria. Pit. Offices. Lectures. And robots. That should be cool. Anyway. Guess we're starting on the very first map. Hey, Van. Gonna skip through this. This will mostly be tutorial, just learning how to play. Okay, so starting funds is five hundred thousand. That should be enough. Let me know if the music's too loud or anything, and I can fix that. Looks okay on my screen though. A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. <laughs> it's not wrong, I have to say. Sorry for the letter that you. Oh, sorry, that's mine. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a generic message from Two Point Hospital, but it's it's actually funny. Okay, well we'll put the science lab on the corner here. We'll make it a little bit bigger than default. We'll pop the door here because we might be able to fit a small room here somewhere. Okay, our board. Ooh, what's this do, Hickey? I'm not sure I should face this. We'll pop up there. Let me take some plants in, right? Always got a decorated room to get a prestige. We'll add a TV and also some shelves. How do I rotate the objects? Rolling doesn't work, middle mouse doesn't work. Oh, you got left click and hold. We go, we got some pictures. And then I just a little tick button. Done. Let's hire our first teacher. Okay, Scientology. Uh, yep. We'll put them in here. What is it? Scientography. When you're ready to start the year, click on Start New Year. Well, we've already got a lecture hall, right? Okay, complete a class. Sun. 
It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, the voice coming out of your radio here on Two Point Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Students are asked not to become nocturnal. Uh, good luck on that. Starting in the science lab. What are they doing? Okay, he's sitting here with a hammer. As soon as they gain ink speed. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's probably true. Ah, so this one's a flamethrower. That's a hammer. This is an observation place. Laser, and this is what it produces. Lava cube. done they did it the students passed their first class sadly they didn't do that well it seems the number of them were distracted by one need or another <coughs> now taking students for scientography So we gotta look at the traits apparently. Like the needs food and bathroom. <sighs> Let's build a dormitory and a um, bathroom. So the dormitory, um, should that be in the building or is it a separate building? Nope, I guess it's the same building. Yeah, let's check that off. The students are lacked when they are low on energy. One bedroom between five students is considered normal on campus. Oh, okay, I put five beds in there, that was very lucky. Oh look, this guy's already using it. Uh, why's he got a bomb in his closet? Announcement! Flatmates aren't always flat. <laughs> yeah, the other thing that we needed to build was a bathroom, right? Well, let's get a bathroom in. I'm guessing bathrooms don't need to be extremely big or anything. So we're it's gonna... time for Agony Answers, where like I this? solve one of your... I think that looks good. That teacher looks like he stinks. I'm going to make a shower room as well. There's no doubt it will ask me to do a shower room next. Schoolwork. Moron. Social life. Yes, you've received tuition fees from all the students enrolling the course at the campus. Well, there you go, they're having showers now. Completing assignments is a great way for your students to learn XP. Okay. 
Okay. Library required. Build room. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Well, I reckon we can build it in the corner like we did the other one. How big? Maybe this big? Like magazines, I guess. Needed to Assistance to toilets. Lovely. So we'll do this one. Whoop. Work in library. There you go. Completing an assessment, an assignment on the, in the library. Oh, okay, that means just wait for the students to do it. We'll see how we do in the next class. Monthly profit. Okay. So, educate, provide better staff and facilities to improve your students' grades. Make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate. And earn more cash by growing your canvas and enrolling more students. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, look at that, the windows look good too. Hey, congratulations, your efficiency academic year. Average exam result 84%, zero failed, zero expelled, zero graduating, 10 continuing. Oh my god, the music's loud. Cool, we can add a new course now. Um, virtual normity. I'm guessing we have to build a new place. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Here we go. Oh. Nice. New area open. Before starting the new year, be sure to check any unresolved campus requirements. Well, let's just have a look. No. Well, let's just go in and buy our new room. So we'll need a VR lab. But that should be enough. And now I'm guessing we need to get a new teacher for this. So there we go. Cool. And some paintings. It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to win? Whoa. New campus unlocked. Cool. Okay. Star rating increased. We're only one star though, so I'm never satisfied with that. So we're going to continue. We'll get some votes in. A coffee kiosk? Oh, please. Oh my god, I didn't know I had this. Janitor awesome. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Where can I fit this? He's here for now. Gotta put one on the other side as well, man.
And I guess you gotta hire another assistant for that. go ah so that's what the extra assistant was for oh now they got coffee coffee video games food look at that people going out to the swing bench oh that's so cute Oh look, they're yeah, playing it. It's a bit drizzly outside. Please plan accordingly. Hey, you got a star. <laughs> this is very cool. Ah, oh, dang it, we got to two star. But we're still not three star. To get to three star, we needed 10 A grade classes and <coughs> 10 students to graduate. Needed to there we go, that looks pretty good. About your future. Oof. I hear far too many people getting wound up in that all was the worst ways over careers fairs. <clears throat> sure, go take the free pen and the boring magazine, but don't stress yourself out. It's important to remember that all the jobs those people do won't even exist in a few years. The future is an unimaginable variable that can and will differ from everything we know in ways we can't possibly comprehend. So, why stress about it, you know? And then if we go on to manage courses and bump this up. Are you kidding? Still not enough. Oh my god. Okay, now we got 60 course points. Surely. Are you kidding me? You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. 60, 60. Coming of age story in all its awkward post-adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Oh well, I guess we'll just... Enjoy your summer. I know I will. Am I doing something wrong here? So I've got 60 points, I want to spend... Okay, so I've got 60 course points, if I manage course... I'm pretty sure it's 30 points to start the new year. So I should be able to spend 30 points to level this up to 4, right? Confirm. Okay, that's it. We got four, 3 stars. That's all I needed to do was push confirm, even though it's in red. I thought red meant I don't have enough to continue the next year. But I guess not. Ah, oh, what a stressful little thing that they made it. Don't know why it shows in red, that's weird. But we can either continue, but we've got no more rewards to pick up here, so we can go to map. Yep, save and quit. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. That's the first episode of Many to Come, and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a great game, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. But anyway, everyone have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.